Hey there, and welcome to the Big Apple School Podcast. My name is Sam. And this is Ken. And today we're going to ask what's the crack about? Animals. Animals. <laughs> so let's do some sounds. What can you do? That's my horse sound. That's your horse. <laughs> <laughs> can you do chicken? chicken? Uh, I can. Can you? I think. I, have I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen so many chickens recently. I, I'm eating too many of them. Listen to uh, this. Listen to this. Uh huh. Meow. <laughs> what was I doing? Meow. Yeah, cow. I can do cow. Go ahead. Mm. Oh, that's good. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know how, how sheepish that is. Well, it sounds <laughs> like a desperate kind of sheep. <laughs> anyway. So let's get on with this. What are we going to talk about? What are we going to ask about? Well, what are we, what's the, what, what, the first what, thing I can have. Can you intro? Oh, uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> the first question can I you, have for can you Can you here. even intro, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I can. So if my I first, allowed you, if I didn't interrupt. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. okay. <laughs> let's get on I'm with calm. this. I'm calm. I'm calm. Look, I have my mug of coffee. Mm. Here's my well, first it's water. question. It's water today. Right? Yeah, I know. How so, do you feel about animals? I'm a good boy. Uh, you know, I love animals. Oh, actually, uh, both eating them and and just uh, no, I I do love animals. I I also enjoy eating meat. Unfortunately, unfortunately for animals, but I really do love animals. Yeah, I do. That's good. That I've, I've makes soft, two of soft us. spot for them. Wow, I real soft spot. I had a soft spot for a woman, you know, uh, once, and it was a it was a bog somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, is it? There's a joke, Ken. What? That a guy has soft spots for his wife. It's a bog in, in the county, you know, and yeah. <laughs> uh, out in the countryside where, where he's going to put her, you know, you know, you get what I mean. But yeah, of yeah, course. It's not, not a very, mm. it's a kind of sad. Yeah. Kind of, how do you feel about animals? Oh my God. I'm a huge animal lover. I, mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of animals. I do watch a lot of animal videos online. And uh, I follow this partic- uh, particular um, series about animals. It's uh, on Animal Planet. It's called Too Cute uh, Series. It's about, you know, baby animals growing up and, you know, see their progress each week, how they crawl, walk, and then progress through running and what things they can do that eventually. Yeah. And uh, I, I, uh, I do enjoy a good documentary. I don't want re- don't watch them or read them. I don't watch them every day, uh, but when I do uh, get a good documentary, I don't know. I love documentaries about sea life actually. Sea maybe, life, maybe even more than animal life uh, on the planet. You know what I mean mm-hmm. on Earth. But I, I enjoy. I mean, I enjoy love both animals. But I think a documentary about sea life because it's just like mm-hmm. another world. Oh, wow, well, yeah, uh, it's, it's a just something different world. Yeah, but there's always there's always something fascinating about animals. Mm-hmm. Wow, you know that's that's unique. Yeah, and you know I love science, right? Well, so and you I love know. biology, and so it's you know, perfect. It's, and that's why we, you know, we both love animals. The study of <laughs> life, you know, the circle of life. So. Yeah, of course. And it moves us all. Come on, break in. <laughs> I do hope that the listeners right now are, you know, having if, a, if they know my good they, time they know, listening to if you. If there are some <laughs> of my students, they know that I break in the song whenever I just feel like it. And do they like it? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, they never were like, shut up or anything. So I don't think of course, so because you're the teacher. So <laughs> they wouldn't say that to you straight in your face. No, no <laughs> they wouldn't. But um, no, I, I don't. I don't prolong it too much, I yeah. think. So it's okay. <laughs> Now, uh, apart from Animal Planet, I used to watch a lot of, um, you know, National Geographic shows. Of course, programs that are centered on animals. Um, mm-hmm. Oh my God, African animals, wildebeest, of course, hyenas, um, lions. Yeah. Um, I-, I know that in the animal world, it can be cruel sometimes because it can yeah. be eaten alive. But I don't know, there's just something about animal life that fascinates me even though it might be gross for some people to see an animal you know eaten alive but yeah. for me it's like this is science it's and i appreciate it for for yeah. what it is but it's what we call a morbid curiosity like, you know, yeah, i guess so. that snakes you know it's dying, dying, you know it's it's enjoying that meal or whatever yeah i know yeah. and you know uh, sibling rivalry 
yeah. among uh, nestlings. Uh -huh. When, for example, there's this, uh, you know, um, young birds, they sometimes kick their, um, uh, not brothers or sisters, but other nestlings yeah. out of the nest. Why not brothers or sisters? Well, yeah. okay, why not? not <laughs> I, just feel, I just feel like, you know, <laughs> we should use them for humans. Yeah. But anyway, so they would kick some of the nestlings out. Yeah. And I think it's too cruel, but yeah. you know, that's how didn't life you, works you in the animal world. Oh, by the way, do you have brothers or sisters? I am an only child. Uh, well, technically. So this is why you think that's cruel. <laughs> <laughs> I have two brothers and I love them. They're great. Uh, don't tell them I said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, they're great. But kicking your brother is, <laughs> is why you're born. It's why you have brothers. Yeah. It's your duty well, as a brother. Of course. Uh, but maybe, I know, I'm sad, Ken, that you didn't, you didn't get to learn about that. <laughs> so it's another way you can study life. I grew up with uh, my cousins, though. Yeah. So they okay. were like my brothers. And were they, were, didn't they ever kick you out of the nest? Well, um, fortunately, no. <laughs> anyway, oh, were How getting out of Have you ever had a pet? Is what I should ask now, right? Right. Um, <coughs> pets. pets. You know, um, when I was growing up, I I spent some time of my childhood in the village, and we had cats, we had dogs. Um, at one point, I had a turtle and mm -hmm. um, a hamster and a rabbit. And you know, turtle. The, let me just uh, let me digest this. Turtle, teenage mutant ninja turtle, a hamster, hamster. And a rabbit. Yeah, and how did they? Cats and dogs. Did they, did no, no, they meet each other at, at different, you know, oh, times? Right, okay. Not all together. Not all at the same time. Not like, exactly. Not like a superhero team. No. And yeah. as I've already mentioned, I grew up with my cousins, so mm -hmm. you know, other boys, and then um, uh, the, the interesting thing that we used to do when we were young, or you know, when we were kids, every time our dog gave birth to, you know. Uh, a litter of puppies, uh -huh. we would... Every time? How often? <laughs> okay. How often? We would, you know, um, divide the puppies uh -huh. amongst ourselves. So we okay. would do rock, uh, paper, and scissors to, uh -huh. you know, decide which puppy goes to whom. Yeah. And uh, it was always fun to do it. And I was just lucky because I, I always won. So I get to pick first. Uh -huh. And of course, you know, you pick the biggest, the, the biggest strongest. and the most beautiful and uh -huh. the cutest. Okay. Yeah, of course. Um, not the runt of the, what we call the runt <laughs> to the litter. Yeah, yeah of not, course. Not the, the same goes for our cats. We did uh -huh. the, the same thing. So we had to decide amongst ourselves. Okay. And well, I wonder, I wonder how the cat's mom <laughs> thought about all that. Yeah, yeah. Without her knowing like, what are they doing? So why are they getting my so kittens? Like, so imagine it's like, it's like if you go into the jungle and these people yeah. are doing some strange ritual. Yeah. Um, 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 yeah. you know? And a rock, paper, scissor ritual. I have to say though, that we really took care of them. Um, I treated all my sort of babies yeah. well. Yeah. Well okay. fed, played with them, gave them toys. Yeah. It was a fun time in my life. I love, I love animals. Yeah. Um, what about you? Which, uh, I mean, what pets did you have? We have always had dogs in my in my family. Mm -hmm. um, it started when I was a, a wee boy. Well, I was a wee boy, <laughs> and uh, I was I was quite quite young, and um, I was like, "Mom, mom, let's get a pet rabbit, mm. a pet rabbit." And I was like, "Okay." But I don't know. I I must have seen something on TV. Because I was always glued to the TV as a wee boy. I mean, the weather, as you know, in Northern Ireland, uh, rains a lot. So mm -hmm. I was like, uh, TV was my favorite thing. And um, on the TV, seen, I guess I must have seen something about a rabbit. And I was like, Mom, let's get a rabbit. And she was like, no. <laughs> because my dad had had a rabbit. And now I agree with her. It was like, rabbits don't do anything. And it's true because my, my older brother had not long ago had a pet rabbit and it doesn't do anything except except what it does do you know oh, ra course. what yeah. rabbits are very good at um, right poop, 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 poop. <laughs> right a uh, lot of maybe poop. something else as well but we won't talk about that but um rabbits just sit there they're in a in a hutch or a cage yeah and they don't really do very much so we ended they're up kind getting of passive in a way yeah yeah i mean they, they can show you love i'm sure but it's not quite the same. We ended up with a dog, mm -hmm. and I can tell you that I call myself a dog person. You know, like, mm -hmm. I'm a dog lover. Were you um, a dog whisperer? 
<laughs> Did you whisper. talk to your dog? Not the dog whisperer, but uh, talk, sure, talk to your dog. Um, not like about life and you know, yeah, life or anything, but talk to your dog a bit and you know, comment and things. Tell tell her mm-hmm. or him if they're bad, you know, or yeah. good, yeah, or good. I have a question though. Um, <clears throat> who got to choose which name to give to your dogs? Uh, my mom chose. We were very young. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, my older and bro- bro- older brother and I were still mm-hmm. very young when we first got a dog. So my mom chose the name mm-hmm. um, Bonnie. Bonnie, uh, kind of, Bonnie Tyler, the singer. Uh, well, she wasn't around <laughs> at that time, oh, okay. so yeah, it wasn't as in Bonnie Tyler, but it's that name. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's uh, like uh, Bonnie. It's uh, used quite a lot in Scotland because uh, mean friend. It's it's a slang, I guess. Yeah, meaning friendly, beautiful kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, lovely, bright. Uh, for example, you've got very bonny eyes. Means you're very oh. bright, beautiful, colorful, nice eyes. So that's where she. I mean. She got the idea I, of naming the so. dog. I, did, I never, I never checked with her, but I guess so. Mm-hmm. And then we had uh, Sam after that. Sam. And it was my younger brother. This by this stage, my younger brother was about, mm-hmm. and he was. I don't know why he was asked to choose the name, but he he uh, called. It was a, a female dog, mm-hmm. girl dog, if you wanna uh, use that word. And uh, her name, full name, was Samantha. <laughs> but he decided. I think he just did it to kind of poke fun at me. I guess so. Didn't annoy me actually, yeah. but he was like Sam. <laughs> Lots of people called me Sam. That would have been. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Sounds weird. Like Sam, come here. Sit. And when, <laughs> and when someone <laughs> and then you react. What? When someone called the house. <laughs> no, no, because my my family called me Samuel. Mm-hmm. So there was never oh, okay. there was never a problem differentiating at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. But when someone called, because often my friends and stuff call me Sam. Mm-hmm. So when someone called, well, is Sam there? They were like, my parents were like secret, or, or my brothers were like, <laughs> <laughs> secretly laughing. You know, why are they calling for the dog? You know, <laughs> why do they want to talk to our dog? <laughs> and, and now, um, well, the first one, by the way, was black and white uh, cocker spaniel, type, a sm- small spaniel, mm-hmm. and the second one was Bichon Frisch, mm-hmm. which is a purebred animal uh, that came originally from. Poodle and a Maltese dog. Oh, so it's which are basically breed. small. No, the it's a new breed from these two breeds. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's not not a mixed breed dog actually, mm-hmm. but but uh, a purebred animal, mm-hmm. but that originally came from these two breeds. And it's a, if you just think of a white, fluffy toy, mm-hmm. like it's basically what the dog okay. is. That's how it. Looks that's like. that's what our Sam was that kind of dog, and then we have now Poppy. Puppy is a type of flower, yeah, right. and that's our dog now. She's great. You know what? Um, at the moment, I don't have any pets, but mm-hmm. uh, I guess in my old age, I'd like to have um, dogs and cats at home. For dogs, definitely, I would l- uh, I would love to have a pug, a Labrador, Akita, if you know that okay. breed. It's don't, a Japanese breed. Don't, but yeah, it's a, yeah it's French it's a, Bulldog, Corgis. Mm-hmm. You like Corgis. Tailless, yeah, well, cute, short dogs. Why would you dogs. assume that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, just saying. They're, they're not bad. Yeah. The Queen loves them. And I wouldn't say I love Corgis. Mm-hmm. They're, they're okay. Mm-hmm. Not bad. I'm a lover of dogs in general. So. Mm. What, what about cats? Uh, I really wanted to get to know cats. We never had them in our house. My mom my mom prefers dogs. And there was, well, I say never, but there was a visitor that came with a cat. Mm-hmm. I think we were minding a cat. And the cat somehow ended up in the roof space, you know, above the house, in this uh, storage area. And I thought, right, at this time, I was toying with the idea. I was still school age. I was toying with the idea of being a vet. And I thought, right, I'm good with animals because, you know, I'm great with our dog. Mm-hmm. I can get this cat out of the roof space. <laughs> and chung, the cat saw me, didn't really know me, and just uh, put out its claws. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it was terrified up there in the roof space. And I, it didn't know me. And I was just trying, let's lift this cat gently. Mm-hmm. I wasn't being gr- aggressive or anything. Right. Lift the cat gently. And the cat was like, you know, and dug its claws into me. I was like, right. Were you traumatized this was, by that? This is really my first experience with cats, mm-hmm. even though I was, I don't know, maybe 10, 11. 
and I was like, right, so I don't <laughs> like cats anymore. Oh my god, to this yeah. day? Um, now, no, now I, I mean, now I appreciate cats much more, and okay. I, I, I think, I think each cat has its own unique personality. Exactly, they're much more, much more unique, much more different from each other than dogs yeah. are. And you have to work for their attention. It's not like dogs. Dogs mm -hmm. can always, you know, follow you around. But cats, they will choose if they like you or not. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like about them. They're they're very. I mean, they're so different. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, my brother has had. He's had three. My older brother has had three cats. Mm -hmm. I think he's two now. But each one of them is different. And they they do kind of hang around with each other a bit. Each one of them is very different. Like one's friendly, the other one's like, doesn't know you, yeah. doesn't want to know you. <laughs> um, you know, it, one wants you to pet, the other is like, okay, you're here, I'm gone. <laughs> you know, they're all, they're all, yeah, I know. they're all really different, and it's, it's interesting to get to know a cat. I think, or it would be if I ever did. Uh huh. You know, while uh -huh. you were talking, uh -huh. I just suddenly remember um, a particular, you know. A moment way back in my you know childhood years, oh my God, it's you won't believe this, and I'm sure our listeners right now they're gonna <laughs> laugh their head off. Okay. Um, <laughs> there was a time when I was I looking for our you know like cat. Do you think they misunderstood? <laughs> <laughs> no. Laugh your head off. <laughs> put it back on again. No. Yeah. Anyway, so they uh, I was looking for our cat one day, mm -hmm. and then I I was like. Meming, 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 because that's how we call our cats. Okay. Like, okay. And then, oh, you know what? Um, and I, as as I was looking for, you know, for him, uh -huh. I could hear our neighbor. So one of them, uh, a child, you know, same age uh, as I was, he said, oh, oh my God, where's our um, fish, the dried fish that was supposed <laughs> to be their food? Uh -huh. I mean, for, you know, dinner. Uh -huh. And then they said, oh my God, where's the fish? Where's the fish? And then um, a few minutes later, <laughs> I saw our cat mm -hmm. with the fish. And I thought, oh my God, what should what I do? 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 Yeah. And then Give um, them back the fish. I, I, I asked my grandmother, should, should I tell our neighbor that <laughs> our cat has our, I mean, has, you know, their fish. And then my grandmother told me, no, 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 no. You don't want to cause any trouble. So. Just, you it's know. between them and the cat. Yeah, it's not your business. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I, I kept my mouth shut, and yeah. I just thought you don't want them to hit you. Yeah. Cat. So, yeah, <laughs> that's it. That reminds me. Um, once my mom, not not very long ago, I don't. Think, I mean, it doesn't seem. Mm -hmm. My mom left the oven on, and she'd cooked meatballs, and she left it on. I mean, sorry, she left it open. Mm -hmm. And the cooked meatballs were cooked. She left it open. These were for our dinner that evening. And all was great, except the dog was there. And the dog was left alone. Um, and you know, the dog thought, oh, dinner for me. <laughs> and the dog ate the meatballs uh, from the oven. Now, it wasn't, I mean, it had cooled down by the stage. Yeah. The dog didn't get hurt. Mm -hmm. The dog had a great time. <laughs> and actually, our first dog—I think it was our first dog. Yeah, I bet he had a Bonnie. Great time. Bonnie and Bonnie was he. Uh, uh, he. Bonnie was a he. Yeah. Right. Bonnie got managed to jump from a ch kitchen chair mm -hmm. onto the kitchen worktop where we had a chicken sitting, cooked as well. Oh, perfect. He, he ate most of the kit, most of the kitchen, most of the chicken, <laughs> most of the kitchen, <laughs> <laughs> most of the chicken, yeah. the kitchen. You know, kitchen and chicken are similar words. Well, uh, he ate most of the kit. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> no, you want to say another word, kitten. <laughs> kitten. He ate most of the kitten. He ate most of the chicken and managed to, I think he also pulled, pushed down the plate that was on, or casserole dish, mm -hmm. and broke the dish as well. Oh my and, God. You know, of course that was, it was awful my parents, yeah. but how, how could they uh, discipline him? Because, you know, a dog wants <laughs> it, to eat. It won't work, yeah. And, it, and I mean, you yourself, if you were left alone with a big yeah. chicken, wouldn't you, if no, nobody told you you couldn't eat it. I, I would know? have done the same. No one told him that, oh, by the way, Bonnie, you can't <laughs> eat that chicken. I mean, it was kind of our fault for leaving the chair yeah. the way it did. But you know, dogs will be dogs. They will always be dogs. Oh, I appreciate it. I don't know, loyal, uh, rugged, uh, they can learn, you know, okay, they're not 
the most small, the, the very smartest animal in the world. Mm -hmm. But they, they can be quite intelligent. They learn over time and get to understand. I've been told that they're about as intelligent as a two, two-year-old child. Mm -hmm. So they, I mean, in their lifetime, they can get to know you and your routine and understand what you're saying. I mean, right. if you, they understand the voice pattern and stuff. So it's great. I think they're great to live with. A good, good company and everything. And I would say that um, they seem to have this emotional connection, uh, mm -hmm. sort of, with people. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, th that's why I love dogs yeah. as well. You get home uh, from work or from uni or whatever school, and they're jumping up on you, yeah. you know, so glad to see you, welcoming you. Um, it's great. Yes. It's great. Unlike some cats like, oh, so you're back home. So where's my food? <laughs> it's yeah. time for you to feed me now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no disrespect to cats yeah, out there. My servant has returned. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you could be targeted. Oh, my God. I might be attacked. My servant has returned. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for you to serve me some food. <laughs> okay, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Uh, we've talked a lot about domestic animals. Right. What about wild animals? So we want to we want to think about that. So uh, your top three wild animals and and get a little bit of why. Okay, uh, I'd say, you know, <clears throat> the panda, tiger, and lemurs. Oh, come on, pandas. Everybody love, you know, or loves pandas. They're, they're cute. They're not racist, you know. And they're not racist. Black, <laughs> white, yes. and Asian. Yeah. Right, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's an old meme, right? <laughs> yeah. Pandas, okay, yeah. Tigers as well, because, yeah. um, I don't know, I love their stripes, and they're just yeah. beautiful animals. And, majestic. Uh, yeah, they majestic. are. Lemurs, because very so cute, big eyes, uh, yeah. you know, like me. <laughs> and, stuff. Uh -huh. and, you know, um, I love Madagascar because that, uh -huh. you know, film just made me love lemurs more. I like the more. movie, movie. Yeah. I like the movie, uh, movie. King Julian. Uh, You've seen yeah, the film, yeah. right? He's hilarious. He's yeah. so hilarious. That's why I like the movie. Movie. He just made me love lemurs more. <laughs> uh, what about you? I am a lover of bats. Bats. Okay. Oh my I god. I guess I guess it's strange for people. I, I find it strange why anyone would be afraid of bats or would be creeped out by bats. But uh, I mean, okay, some of them aren't the most beautiful. They have lots of different varieties of bats, lots of different faces. Right. And some of them are super cute and some of them are not so pretty <laughs> in the looks department. But they're so fascinating to me. Uh, when I first, since I first saw them like out out my window when I was a, when I was a teenager or shortly before it, I, in the summer flying about, they're so amazing to watch. Just and literally acrobatic. Yeah. They are literally acrobatic. Their wing is much more uh, bendable, if you like, than right. a bird's wing. Looks more So more flexible. flexible. Yeah. And they, they're chasing, the ones in Northern Ireland are chasing bugs. Mm -hmm. And so they're going crazy catching these bugs. Very energetic, very fast, and it's just amazing, amazing wow. to watch them. So many interesting things I could tell I can about just imagine. bats or, or learn about bats myself. Yeah. Wolves. Wolves. I guess because of the dog. I, I'm such a lover of dogs, mm -hmm. and a wolf. Wolf is like the supreme dog, right? Of course. And something a little bit mysterious about them, at least in culture, anyway. Mm. So I, I'm a lover of wolves and otters. Otters. So, That's uh, an interesting actually, choice. I find it difficult to pick the third one. I say otters because they're like, they're cute. They can well, swim. Yes. They, they can swim and go on and land. They're very smart. Too. Smart, I guess they are, and I haven't had a lot of experience. I've seen them, seen them in the zoo and places, but they're very know, sociable animals. Yeah, amongst themselves. I, I, I'm a of, I guess all three of these that I've quite picked mm -hmm. are mammals. So I guess I'm. Yeah, they're, they're a mammal. Mammals. Mammals. I'm a mammal guy. Right. Mammal well, guy. and you are well, a mammal. Though I did, <laughs> though I did also write down frogs and turtles. I know that's kind of cheating because we asked for three, but yeah. it's okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was, <laughs> I loved it when I was a boy. I don't know, they're, they're also interesting. I think it's the amphibious side of thing. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to me as well. Like, that's why I picked otters. Mm -hmm. Frogs and turtles are the same. Yeah. So I guess I, it's I that, like, that's interesting you know, to me. Frogs too. Now, um, are there any animals or insects, bugs that scare you? When I was a kid, I really, really didn't like spiders. No. Spiders? Spiders. Well, um, I'm not very surprised. I'm not 
I'm I'm still not、um, comfortable with bigger spiders.、Mm-hmm. But now I'm not I'm not so afraid or anything. But when I was a boy, we had a shed in our back garden.、Mm-hmm. It was kind of like the domain of the spider. Yeah, you know, and there were lots of I I don't want to say small, but they weren't huge、mm-hmm. uh, spiders there. But there were some what I would have classed huge as a boy,、mm-hmm. and I was like. Creep me out. I I liked. I was drawn to the shed, for just to explore. Like you know, I I I'm an explorer, right? But I didn't want to get in contact with these spiders, so I was always like kind of keep in the middle of the room.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go into the corners. That's interesting though, because in my case,、um, when I was a young、uh, a young boy, I really loved spiders. Yeah. Yes, I would catch them. You know.、Uh-huh. My friends and I would look around. You know, we would go from, I mean, house to house,、yeah. just to catch some spiders, and we would、uh, put them、uh, at each end of a broomstick. You know,、uh-huh. yeah. a piece of broomstick, so that they could fight <laughs> each other. Fight. Yes. Spider fight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ding ding. And it was, I don't know, it was <laughs> always fun to to do、And、it. Did they actually fight each other? They do. Why? And then you know, eventually what. One overpowers the other,、yeah. and then you know the sort of victim or the loser it, gets to be wrapped. What? With, You're yes, with web. Yes. Wow. And then gets eaten by the other one. Oh my! By、goodness. the winner. What kind of childhood did you? Have? <laughs> <laughs> well, I grew up in the village. I told you before. I moved to、yeah. you know Manila. I never, I never even had the idea in my mind. To pitch two <laughs> spiders against each other, I, I was too busy. It, it was fun though. I was too busy <laughs> stepping back. Yeah. <laughs> I, one guy in my class in school would have ran. Yeah. But I, I proud, I prided myself. I prided myself. Is that right? In not running,、mm-hmm. but like I wouldn't go near it. You know, I would back away slowly. I have to say though, now as an adult, I, I wouldn't want you know spiders crawling on my palm or、mm-hmm. on my hands because I don't know. It feels. I like you know like it grows, but I don't how, know what, what what I was thinking when I was a yeah, boy because I didn't, didn't mind. I was、yeah. you know, I I guess I、um, in the same in the same way I liked fishing when I was a teenager,、mm-hmm. and I would put the worm on the hook. And、mm-hmm. I don't think I could do that now. Oh, <laughs> I know that. I know you might say what a wuss. <laughs> yeah, but the whole idea of this poor I would be thinking like, what what's going to happen to this worm? Yeah. I guess for a worm, you know, I, I probably could do it, but I just I don't have the desire、yeah. to do that and, and fish.、Hmm. Um, Any other? Are you afraid of snakes? You know,、um, snakes? No, I'm not. No, no. It doesn't. It, it's another thing that I'm not quite sure why people are afraid of snakes. Like creeped out by snakes.、Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I know. I, I can know there's a, there's a good reason why they're afraid of like the teeth and、mm-hmm. the venom and all that. Fangs. Yeah. But、um, I wouldn't say I'm afraid of snakes. But I do know、uh, a good, good friend of mine is terrified. 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 And in Ireland, not Northern Ireland, there are no snakes. But、mm-hmm. he and I were both in Australia,、mm-hmm. and yeah, he was. I think he was on alert, you know, for the snakes. But I mean, I was sort of. It was in my mind that I should be careful, though it was the winter time for them. Uh, it was in my mind that you know I should be careful, watch my step because they can be dangerous. You,、mm-hmm. know, you need to get you need to get an anti venom. But、um, I was can never say I'm afraid. I'm afraid of snakes. You know I saw a snake、uh, in the Nova Scotia Zoo. A few snakes、mm-hmm. recently. And I'm looking at their skin, their scales, or whatever, and they're so. It's so beautiful. So, yeah. So detailed the colors and the shades of their. Their skin—it's amazing, and I just, again, even today, like I respect spiders. They—they are amazing.、Mm-hmm. I will never say they're beautiful.、Uh, I mean, at, at least not in in the way traditional sense, right? But、uh, they are so amazing. And、mm-hmm. if I remember correctly, there's something about their silk that it's extremely, extremely strong. I mean, maybe even. Yeah, I know. I've read about it. Per, per, how would we say per? A、uh, square centimeter, much stronger than steel. Than steel. At least yeah, I, I know. I've heard this. So, I mean, it's amazing when you think of that, and it、mm-hmm. just comes out of their bum, you know, <laughs> effectively. So it's really an amazing stuff.
Anything else we want to talk about? Well, uh, just very quickly, <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of cockroaches, uh-huh. like roaches. In yeah. the Philippines, they're big, happy, and friendly. Okay. They like flying around. <laughs> wow, flying. Yes. Wow. And okay. um, I remember one time when I was, you know, preparing for an exam the following mm-hmm. day. Yeah. However, you know, uh, at night, so I, I had my light on, so I was, you know, like mm-hmm. preparing. I, I was studying, and then uh, I didn't notice that the windows were, were open and, uh-huh. and it was raining. I, I know what's and then, happen. you know, one by one, they were coming in, and he said, "Oh my God, no!" And yeah. Guess what? I stopped my preparation. Yeah. <laughs> and instead, I I'm decided, sure okay, I turned off the lights and you know went to bed <laughs> because I was too scared. Yeah. Oh no. I. In Northern Ireland, I, I don't think we even have cockroaches. We have beetles and mm-hmm. other insects, but nothing big, nothing huge. It's just too um, cold, wet, wet, cold kind of. Not super cold. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't have them. Mm-hmm. And the first uh, experience I had with them was just here. Yeah, they're, they're they're not so big here, not so bad, not so terrible. Don't enjoy them. Like I wouldn't want yeah. them around. But yeah, flying cockroaches. <laughs> wow. That's scary. Okay. Um, will we call it a wraps? Will yes, we, will we? outro? Yeah, I guess so. I okay. guess that's about it so for, we, for We now. have talked about our different love of animals, or, or uni- um, how would we say, mutual love of animals. Right. Yes. We love dogs and cats, cats especially you. Yeah. And some other and wild animals. Some other wild animals. And we've had a bit of experience growing up with pets. And, and I hope that, animals. you know, all our listeners love animals too, I'm, the same way I'm sure do. a lot of them do at yeah. least yeah. and if they don't love to spend time with them maybe they love to eat <laughs> to eat <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. anyway that's that, it for today's what's the crack that was the crack about animal yeah